What drives a young woman to hold up a stagecoach in the twilight of the Old West? Pearl Hart, with nothing but a revolver and sheer nerve, became a legend. Let's take a ride into her daring heist. I bid you pause and consider a tale from the fading of the Old West, where dusty trails and open skies stretched endlessly, and law was as thin as the desert air. It was a time when the frontier was rapidly being tamed, the wild corners of America shrinking in the face of railroads, telegraph lines, and the ever-encroaching hand of civilization. Yet even in these final days of the frontier, one figure, a woman no less, chose not to fade quietly into the background, but to thrust herself into legend with an act of daring that would have made any hardened outlaw proud. Her name was Pearl Hart, and if you've never heard of her, let me assure you, hers is a story worth remembering. Born in 1871, far from the lawless lands of the American West, Pearl hailed from the relatively genteel surroundings of Canada. But she was not content with the narrow life offered to women in her time. No, Pearl was made of sterner stuff, the sort of woman who, when faced with adversity, met it head on with an almost reckless defiance, Welcome to the shadows and the past, where history meets mystery and the past is your present. Hit the like and subscribe to join us as we delve into a world where the boundaries between survival and demise are as unpredictable as the winds that whip across the desolate landscapes of America's Old West. By the late 1890s, Pearl found herself in the United States, swept along by the promises of freedom, opportunity and adventure that the frontier offered. Yet, as with many who ventured west, the reality was far from glamorous. Penniless, disillusioned and restless, Pearl had tried and failed to live within the strictures of society. So when the opportunity for one last act of rebellion presented itself, she seized it with both hands. She had fallen in with a man by the name of Joe Boot, a rogue of little renown but enough gumption to entertain Pearl's audacious scheme, a stagecoach robbery. Yes, in an age when such crimes were already becoming a relic of the past, Pearl Hart, armed with nothing more than a revolver and her sheer force of will, set her sights on one of the last great heists of the Old West. The date was May 30th, 1899. The place, Arizona. Pearl, dressed as a man, hat pulled low over her eyes, waited alongside Joe Boot for the stagecoach to appear. Their plan was simple enough, stop the stagecoach, relieve the passengers of their valuables, and make a clean escape into the wilderness. Simple, yes, but as anyone familiar with the frontier can tell you, the best laid plans rarely survive contact with reality. As the stagecoach approached, Joe Boot moved to halt the horses, while Pearl, revolver in hand, took charge of the situation. One can imagine the astonishment of the passengers as they were forced to disembark, not by some grizzled desperado, but by a woman with nerves of steel. Pearl, ever the pragmatist, wasted no time in collecting cash, jewelry, and anything else of value. In total, they netted $431, a tidy sum, though hardly a fortune. Yet in a curious twist of character, Pearl showed an unexpected streak of compassion. Noticing one of the passengers distressed at losing all his money, she returned a small portion to him, enough to see him safely on his way. A small gesture to be sure, but one that speaks volumes of Pearl Hart's complex character. She was no cold-hearted villain, but a woman of principle, albeit unconventional ones. But as we know, dear listeners, crime seldom pays. After the robbery, Pearl and Joe Boot attempted to flee into the Arizona wilderness, a task far easier imagined than accomplished. Within a few days, they were captured by a sheriff's posse. And thus began the next chapter in Pearl Hart's remarkable saga, her trial, which would turn her from an obscure outlaw into a national sensation. You see, the sight of a woman, a woman, committing such a bold crime was beyond the comprehension of most in those days. The press, always hungry for a good story, flocked to Pearl's trial like vultures to a feast. They dubbed her the Bandit Queen, and Pearl, with all the aplomb of a seasoned showman, played her role to perfection. 
In the courtroom, she was as charming as she was defiant, turning what should have been a somber affair into something of a spectacle. When asked why she committed the crime, Pearl Hart, ever the wit, reportedly replied, I shall not consent to be tried under a law in which my sex had no voice in making. It was a statement that, even today, resonates with a sense of rebellion and independence that few could match. The courtroom, one imagines, was left agog by her audacity. And so the trial played out, with the jury ultimately finding her guilty despite her spirited defense. She was sentenced to five years in Yuma Territorial Prison, a harsh sentence by any measure. But, as with all things Pearl Hart, her time behind bars was not destined to last. After serving a mere 18 months, she was released. And here the story becomes even more tantalizing. Rumor has it that Pearl's early release was due, in no small part, to her charm and the continued fascination the public had with her. It is said that even the governor, faced with the prospect of keeping such a notorious and charismatic figure behind bars, preferred to quietly let her go, perhaps to avoid further scandal. And so, Pearl Hart walked free, her reputation cemented in the annals of the Old West. What became of her after her release remains something of a mystery. Some say she toured the country, telling her story in smoky saloons and dusty theatres, capitalising on her brief stint as a celebrity criminal. Others claim she lived quietly, far from the prying eyes of the public, content to let her legend do the talking. Either way, Pearl Hart's name would forever be associated with the last gasp of the outlaw era. She was no common thief, but a woman who dared to defy the rigid expectations of her time. In an era when women were expected to be meek and mild, Pearl Hart strode boldly into the pages of history, revolver in hand, and left an indelible mark on the American frontier. And so, dear viewers, if you find yourself intrigued by stories of daring, rebellion and audacity, then you are in the right place. The Shadows and the Past is dedicated to unearthing the hidden stories of history. Tales like that of Pearl Hart, where the line between hero and villain, between legend and reality, blurs in the dust of time. Ah, well, such is life in the shadows. If you'd like more secret stories of cunning, endurance and iron resolve, hit the like and subscribe to ride along as we explore the secrets lurking in the shadows and echoing through the corridors of the past. And if tales like this one appeal to your rambling heart, click the link to get a first-hand account of iconic George Patton's impetuous introduction to campaigning through wild rough terrain and thwarting cunning enemies at fast close range. Welcome to the shadows in the past, where history meets mystery and the past is your present.